tape number three, and I'm doing this because the law never worked for me. I'm 76 years old, and if you could ever count the laws and the cruelty that's been done to one human being and my family and country, it would be me right here in plain sight. Uh, and I've used this as, to document it. I found out after writing a book about mind control, by way, if you're just picking this tape up, if you care to go back and uh, access the others, you can get more information because i got a whole bunch of them on there. I wrote about mind control murders back 76 till April Fool Day of 80 when I had antifreeze put in me and should have died. Those involved with it, just to name a couple, was Lois Pearson, John Guy Childers, my ex-husband, who I later found out after I lived through it, if you call it living through it, was CIA. But during the time they lured me out to his sisters, Laura May Childers Klein, CPA, Austin, Texas. She lives in Lockhart, Texas. Uh, she lived in Abilene at the time in 80, and I was told if I could come out there, I intended to try to get my kids away, and I was trying to get the book published, and so much was happening to us, uh, threatening my kids and everything. So... The plan was to go out there, and she was going to help me. And then I, when I got the job, I'd bring the kids out there. Well, I called her just before I left in March of 80. I got to Texas. Next morning, I called her and said, I'm almost there. And that's when she told me to turn around and go back. Her whole attitude changed, that I couldn't uh, come there. I got back to Marietta, my apartment at Laurelwood Apartments. And these people knew all of it. They were uh, one of them that was manager. Uh, I had a letter from the FBI, June the 23rd of 79, U.S. Attorney Harper. I thought it was about the book. I didn't know about it, that I'd been kidnapped and who I am, my real name at the time, until late 83 when the Brits told me. But anyway, to make it so that I get this on here, some names on here uh, to document it, um, they let her, first of all, the manager, I told her when I signed the lease, my name, just me, and my two sons, I told her they were in school. I told her about doing the book, and I was having a lot of problems from it, and I explained it to her, and so she would know, have some, well, you, you kind of know it after you talk with people, but anyway, she informs me that her uncle, or nephew, I believe it was her uncle, was FBI in charge of the Patty Hearst. So you can go from there, because the Hearst, I found out later, were part of the people, the Freemasons or Illuminati, they call them now, that are in power, the global government, was part of kidnapping me, too. And Patty Hearst, by the way, uh, Frank Sinatra, I might as well get it in here, his son, Bill, was kidnapped. Bill, they don't mention, but he's his son, and he was kidnapped during this time. The the Americans have stood by and watched this. Most of them, a few have helped. It's been one step into hell every step of the way, what's been done, not just the antifreeze and this woman uh, whose mother of the twins. That's, they gave me the name of the twin, Peggy and Dixie, married the children's. And this is the twins' name, Carl. And both of them had been killed by Lana, their mother. And I was brought over here in 41. This was made in 43. It was a hellhole. Now then, I'm jumping around, but this put my kids, when I found out about being kidnapped in jeopardy later on in 83, because their heir to the crown after me, Mark and Scott, and I haven't seen them. I have no idea where they are. Uh, I did want to say this, and I'm going to go ahead if I'm leaving other things out. I don't know who all got in on the antifreeze. That's just one step when they tried to kill me. I wanted to get these names in because I just got them now. I wanted to tell about Laura Childers. By the way, when I married John Childers, uh, I realized later, after I found out my real name, that he had actually left, like, clues. Uh, that later I would put together about my identity. So he always knew he was meant to marry me and do the things he did. I was flown 
uh, to his brothers and sister-in-law's uh, children in, um, oh, goodness, K- Kissimmee, Florida, where I was married. I was flown down there by John, and the whole world, not for the better, stayed, and it was awful. His brother and wife were nice, but... Uh, John did all sorts of things. He had sold a boat. He'd leased a car. That was, and it, suddenly the whole world changed. And I'd left my job and uh, all that, and, and be, flown down there to marry him. But anyway, uh, they were nice. But I wanted to say this: I had a learner's dress that I'd managed to buy, and it was short sleeve blue. I was married in that, and. Um, I guess I want to get this on here. I later found out that John Childers, when I got back, the apartment was in his name, and it allowed him to move my furniture in another apartment in the same complex, Laurelwood on Bentley Drive in Marietta. Same uh, people run it um, that I said. uh, I had the letter from the FBI, and then I found out that the manager she told me that her nephew or uncle, I believe, was in charge of the Patty Hearst kidnapping. Well, Hearst ran on my kidnapping. So um, the whole thing was planned. It was illegal. When I got back from going to uh, trying to go out to his sisters who lured me out there, uh, I got back and found I had no apartment. They had allowed him to move my furniture into another apartment a couple of doors up. I had no apartment now. The lease, they had allowed him to have a new lease in his name using my deposit. He even got my um, bank account, and then I had the antifreeze put in me and was illegally taken across the state line. Anybody can check out anything I've said. To Back to Huntsville, Alabama, this woman, Lina, she killed her twins and would have faced the death penalty had anyone found out. Well, a lot of people knew it. John Spartman, congressman, U.S. congressman. How do you think uh, Roanoke got, uh, not Roanoke, well, Roanoke too, but Redstone Arsenal and NASA and all that got built, the illegal treaties that were done and everything. So I wanted to get this name in here. I found out that John Childers, during the time he had put me on his insurance, and that's when the antifreeze, when I got back and he had my apartment, April Fool Day of 80, I had antifreeze put in me. He was a part of it. I was illegally taken across the state line by this woman, Lina Dempsey. I worked for the district attorney. How's that a couple of months later in the condition I was in? Madison County DA Fred Simpson, 1980. Twyla Joyce Pellin married John Childers while they were doing this to me. He was, uh, there's a question whether we were really divorced. I thought we were. But anyway, there were life insurance and a divorce decree to me. That, anyway, I'll leave it at that. They were married. John Childers was in on trying to have me killed. And this is what I wanted to say later without going into anything else. The children's, Laura and her mother, Thelma, came to the wedding of Twyla Joyce Pellin. I'm in Alabama illegally with antifreeze in me. My children know nothing about the antifreeze. Um, It was made to look like I just ran off and left them. And uh, they had a wedding. And they even, my understanding, they took my sons, Mark and Scott, they even made them stand to be measured for a tuxedo, and they had this wedding, John and this woman, Twyla Joyce Pellin. Uh, Now then, when I just Googled it now, after all this time, I've tried to, I don't want to contact her. I want her and all these people, and half of them are dead, to go to jail justice to be served for their part in it. Laura Childers, but he gets into doctors, you name it. But um, she lived in Lawrenceville. That's where Larry, for a long time, she lived, and John, I believe they did, uh, my ex-husband, uh, where Larry uh, Flint was shot. And I was later flown out to Flint during the campaign. But... Uh,